Schwartz here with Marty Music. We're going to break down Cage the Elephant, No Rest for the Wicked. I'm going to show you the cool acoustic part and the slide part. So get ready to dig in. And also, thanks for supporting me at Marty Music. You know, subscribing, hitting that bell notification. Really appreciate it, you guys. All right, let's do it. All right, let's take a bar chord on the third fret, E looking shape. So that's a G bar chord. Ja da da da. And there's definitely percussiveness going on. And you're getting that by hitting your palm on the strings, then the pick. So you're muting with your right hand to get that. Takes a little practice. See that? So next we go Da, da 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 and that's going to be up here on the 6th fret up to the 8th fret so that uh could be we could call that B flat to C and you're you're sliding it as you hold it down so from the top So that next move, we're going to that fifth fret, but it's more of the power chord and it's almost muted. Um, so you don't want you don't want that full chord. You just kind of want the the top strings on that, and it goes from five to six. So you're kind of almost not hearing that. So from the top, and then a quick hit on the F, which is the first uh, fret power chord, but kind of aiming mostly for those top power chord notes. So from the top. Just like that. The next one is a little variation, which combines that little fifth, sixth slide, but then up to the eighth fret. Like that. So from the top. So that last one is the exact same as the second one. Just like that. And you put it together. So that's the acoustic part, but then there's also a, a slide guitar riff going on with that. So very much two guitars complementing each other. All right, now we can call this part the verse and you want to think of the right hand constantly giving a little underlying rhythm. So as soon as you, you know, I'm thinking of the, the power chord 
the three, five, five. But as soon as I relax my hand, but I'm still touching the strings, you get that. So I'm just squeezing down for the bum bum, bum bum. And so that would be the G, the third fret. Then the sixth fret. Then the eighth fret. And then back down and you go. Which would be the sixth fret, the B flat. And then the A string root on the eighth fret and that's an F power chord. So you put that verse together, G, B flat, C, B flat, F. You know, etc. So you've got the that's the verse, and then when it goes into the chorus, it's just like the first part I taught you. And this is all the the acoustic part, not the slide part, right? So that's what you got. Now a straight chorus part on the acoustic guitar. Just a variation of what we're already doing. The the third fret. Just a little combination. So you got that third fret, six, eight, and then the offbeat on the one. All right, I've got the glass slide. It would help for you to have a little bit of a uh, slide guitar experience. Are you experienced? <laughs> Anyway, we're going to keep it in standard tuning. Usually I put it to open E, but for this one. So think of the uh, D and G string together. I'm just pinching them and I'm muting everything else. So I'm going W, uh, and so I'm thinking of it as the third fret. And then sliding up to that 12th fret. And with slide, you want to be right above the fret itself. And so that... It's like a B flat major to C. It's the same D and G. I'm going third fret to fifth fret. Uh. Uh. get you going all right there was the lesson thank you so much you guys for hanging out you know supporting watching the videos you can uh request lessons in the comments below and i appreciate you liking subscribing leaving comments you know all that stuff really helps me and i just want to thank you for it i hope to see you again in another video take care